This video is brought to you by Bizwire TV, where your news is made. Yeah, I think the area about uh, balancing transparency and having protecting our businesses, I think, is critical here in this part of the world. Um, a lot of listed companies are quite unique. Um, they're independent. They don't have a peer group. Um, a classic example would be like a company like ours, DP World, we're the only listed global port company. Now, the financial community always wants more information. So for example, they want to know how our London business is doing, how our business in um, Malaysia is doing, how Dubai is doing, how uh, Brazil is doing. And whilst we understand the reasons why they want the transparency, why they want more information, um, as a business, we have to try to protect ourselves. So, for example, a lot of our customers are private companies. They're not listed. Um, which are the shipping lines, and they're going through a really bad time. Um, so for them, when they see our numbers, our earnings going up 50%, our revenue growth is 10%, for them it's uh, an easy way to call up and say, look, please don't put my price up, or how dare you put the price up. Uh, and that, that becomes a challenge for the business itself. And if we carry that on and have individual markets where you show revenue and margins, um, it, it, it can be a point where the business gets attacked, really. So. We have to try to protect our business. Uh, at the same time, try to understand that we need to provide some sort of transparency. There's enough transparency in there that uh, the market can build up the financial model. So I think uh, that's where my role comes into play, really, where I try to be more creative with that. So, for example, there may be a, if, for example, you want to know what my margins are in Europe, um, I will say to you, actually, I can't give you that information, but if you look in Germany, there's a company called Hamburger Hafen, and they've just published the numbers, and that'll give you an indication of what the European market is looking like, really. So I think as an investor relations uh, officer, you can try and help the market be a bit more creative, provide the right level of transparency, at the same time protecting your business. So that's a good way of doing it, so you have that middle ground there.